Hello, my beautiful Scorpios. It's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another reading for the channel and getting caught up with the last reading for June 3rd of 2022. Okay, so without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the reading, shall we? Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and my Scorpio subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers, and so it is. Right, rolling the dice, we've got the power <clears throat> power of number three. We could see the Empress card kick in. Some of you guys are dealing with a Pisces or an Aries throughout the month of March. However, if the Empress does make her presence known, you could also be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus more specifically. Picking up on the Three of Swords and the Three of Cups. Power of number one, we could see the Magician card or any of the Aces kick in. Some of you are dealing with a Gemini or an Aries <clears throat> and or possibly could be dealing with a Capricorn or an Aquarius throughout the month of January. Power of number one again. We've got a 311. Some of you guys are dealing with a Pisces born on March 11th. We could also see the Justice card show up and or the Death card. Sign of Scorpio, Changes and Transformation. Looks like we are going to the number five. <clears throat> Power of number five. You could be dealing with a Taurus or a Gemini throughout the month of May. I'm also picking up on the five of cups. Five of swords, five of wands, and the five of pentacles. I'm picking up on all of the fives. And we could also see <clears throat> the devil card. Uh, Capricorn. Capricorn energy. I feel like somebody's obsessing over you, Scorpio. Surprisingly, even though the number's not there in the mix of from the roll of the dice, I'm picking up on the Nine of Swords. Somebody's all up in their head right now. Or feeling restless or anxiety at night. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay. Trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and my Scorpio subscribers, what is the overall message for June 3rd, 2022, please? What do us Scorpios need to know, please? The three of wands, something about the ships coming in. Something's going to change or shift over the next three weeks. Some of you are dealing with fire signs, Aries, Leo, and or Sagittarius more specifically. Does not have to be. Something about the ships coming in. Somebody's playing a wounded warrior or licking their wounds right now. Or somebody has their wall or their guard up right now. What are the ships coming in? The Empress, okay. Feel like somebody here, again, you could be dealing with a Pisces, an Aries, a Libra, or a Taurus, more specifically. <clears throat> Hang on one second, you guys. <clears throat> okay. Somebody's coming to see their emperor and or their empress or reaching out. This person could also be coming in for some of you guys at a distance. In your career life, Scorpio, there's a major change. Huge. Some of you will jump into full entrepreneurship over the next three weeks. Or what I'm also picking up too is that I don't know what it is, Scorpio. Uh, there's some, there's like a, a sense of, I'm picking up the phrase like major determination to go after and get what you want or something just, it's like the light bulb clicks on inside of your brain 
And it's like I'm getting like a, a focused, driven energy as well. As far as your career, your finances, something about going the distance here. Okay. What is this? Okay. The two of wands. Yeah. Making plans. So it's like over the next two to three weeks, two of wands. <clears throat> You're capturing also to a vision or somebody seeing the vision or the future with you. Some of you, I pick up that you will be moving. There's been a moving energy going on. Or somebody may want to, you know, move in with you or they want you to move in with them. Yeah, you've got a major, 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 major change coming up. Goodbye to the old, hello to the new. Death card. Power of number 13. It's like you're having your own wake-up call, Scorpio, to your future and career and finances. I almost feel like somebody's also, too, they're putting an end to whatever situation that they were in. They're headed in your direction. They're making plans and wanting to move forward. So what I'd say to that, yeah, there's an energy going here. At one point in time, somebody turned their back on you, Scorpio. Yes, that's true. They might have ignored you, neglected you. But there's a major change here. A lot of you guys, I'm, I'm feeling like this is a major transformation in your work life. Businesses, career, entrepreneurship. You're gaining, what I'm picking up is you're gaining some kind of clearer perspective. Or it's a surge of energy that you're going to get to be like, you know what, I'm going to start dropping the things that do not serve my highest purpose and I am moving forward no matter what. That's what I'm hearing. Message from the death card. What's up with this? Yeah, somebody's getting ready to open up some feelings here. Moon card in the reverse. But this is also Cancerian energy. You could be dealing with the Cancerian right now for some of you. Some of you work with the moon cycles. During the waning moon, you banish things out. When it's the waxing moon, you draw things in. Some, there's a truth here. There's some kind of a truth that's getting revealed, I feel, over the next two to three weeks. What is getting revealed to Scorpio over the next two to three weeks? Strength card. There's a Leo or a Virgo for some of you guys that are, is going to be coming forward to profess some. I, I say it's to profess some feelings. Doesn't have to be those two signs, but strength. <clears throat> having the courage, having the power, the determination to go the distance, like I said. Or somebody's going to have the courage and the strength to open up emotionally and they will help be a part of the change within the relationship dynamic. Judgment. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, 
Five major arcana cards, judgment. Yeah, somebody's going to be begging for a second chance or want to, again, revitalize the connection. A lot of you guys are on different time frames, but could be something about June 20th. Or you could be dealing with uh, a Gemini, Gemini born on that cusp line of Gemini into Cancerian season. Yeah, it is a wake-up call. Not once, but twice. <clears throat> so where somebody, if it feels like somebody put an end to the situation between you and them, Scorpio, they're coming back around the bend again. Either they got a wake-up call, a revelation, they could have had a dream, or something just like the light bulb clicked on. There's a lot of yellow. There's a lot of yellow in these cards. Yellow and orange, touches of red. So we're talking about the root chakra, sacral chakra, solar plexus, the foundation of somebody's energy, them getting the courage and the strength to come forward. And I say, again, confess. Confess or reveal or expose some feelings here. Some of you may find out you're pregnant over the next two to three weeks. Not all of you. Just for those of you that could be in childbearing years. Or you're going to find out somebody is pregnant. There's, I'm picking up a baby shower. Some of you may be going to a baby shower. That's what I'm picking up over the next two to three weeks for some of you. Judgment. Why does this person want to revitalize the connection? Yeah, some of them may be reaching out to you today. Now, mind you, some of them could have reached out to you on June 3rd for some of you, not all of you, but the Fool card is here. So this is about, in general, wiping the slate clean. Somebody is a fool in love with you and with this newfound courage and or determination, Scorpio, Something that you're not looking back to. It could be a connection. It could be to friends, certain family members, whatever. I feel like spirit wants you to stay focused right now over the next two to three weeks. Stay focused in on your projects. Allow spirit, again, to work in on the situation between you and this person as difficult as that may be to let go of control issues. No, somebody wants to wipe the slate clean or they're going to be communicating with you. And for some of you, it could be today because today technically is June 5th. can't get over all of the major arcanas yeah somebody here is going to be reaching out to you they're a fool in love with you reconciliation could happen over the next two minutes two hours two days <clears throat> could take two months which means that would take us into leo energy leo season as well i feel like somebody's going to be they're going to be opening up and expressing these feelings that they held back what are they going to express to Scorpio? That they've healed? <clears throat> that they've healed from a situation? Or that they are no longer in a third party situation? Some of them may start divorce proceedings between them and the karmic. Yeah. Yeah. Ten of Cups. So some of them could be healing from a marriage that failed for them. A marriage that didn't go the distance. But yet at the same time, when they're coming to you, they're going to be like, you know, in a nutshell, it's like you're, you are their over the rainbow moment, bottom line. So <clears throat> 
Wow, this is good. Bottom of the deck, Eight of Pentacles. So this means that they are going to put in more dedication and effort. So let's go. I was said I was picking up an energy right here. This is about something or someone at a distance or there's travel, there's forward movement, or the ships are coming in. Yeah, listen, there's a major yes with this because it's temperance. My God, I can't get over all of the major arcanas. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven major arcanas, and seven is a spiritual number. And seven is the number of travel. Okay, I would know I'm a life path seven. And I have traveled a lot in my lifetime. Somebody's coming in to balance out the situation with you. And some of you guys are dealing with the Sagittarius more specifically. I've got another Scorpio you could be dealing with. Yeah, they're coming in with an offer. They want to take it slow. There's that double card. Guys are dealing with Capricorns. I said, somebody's obsessing over you. Yeah, unexpectedly. Look at eight major arcana cards right now. Tower moment. This person's coming in out of the blue. For some of you guys, it's going to be over the next two to three weeks. And then I'm picking up the next two months or into Leo season. Why is it going to be so shocking when this person comes forward? Why? Because it, okay, well then that means they're getting, they're getting out of a stuck position. Eight of Swords, but the way it may make you feel, you may not know which way is up or down because you could be questioning this person whether or not, like, okay, are you are are you serious? Are, are you being real with me? I mean, well, wait a minute. Why all of a sudden? Why why all of a sudden a change? Why all of a sudden a change of heart? Did something happen, or you know, it may what they say to you may make you feel immobile because it is something for some of you guys is what you've been desiring with your specific person and then when it happens it's like you may feel like you're a deer in headlights because you're like wait a minute whoa is this for real i think you're going to be feeling that and then your mindset may also go into that seven of cups mode where you're just feeling overwhelmed you're like okay okay all right, so how, and then it's like you're questioning, like, well, how, how do you want to start this relationship all over again? You know, it's like you're, it, it's almost as if the uncertainty gets pushed back on you, Scorpio, to some degree. Even though you desire it, this person now is going to come forward after a healing process, because this healing process has come up over the last few readings for this person that you've been dealing with. So why would Scorpio feel immobile, please? Why would they feel immobile? Well, Spirit's saying it's because you want it. Hierophant. This is about marriage, commitment, dedication, devotion. And, and somebody coming in to be like, okay, let's do this. I'm all in. And you're like, oh my God. Uh, yeah, it's for some of you guys are going to go through this. Ace of Swords. It is the truth. Yeah, you're going to be questioning if this person is telling you the truth. Seven of Swords. Some of you are, are going to be like in disbelief. Because you've seen this person's patterns before and then 
again with that eight of pentacles that, that was on the bottom of the deck when then when they start to show you they're 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 blowing up your phone and they're calling you etc and and you're just kind of like okay I've had this happen before. I've been love bombed before. Da 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 da. You know, this person has showed me, uh, you know, that they care about me before in the past. But you know, so listen. If um, I'd say, if you start to feel that way, Scorpio, don't overthink it. Keep doing you, and let this person, let this person keep showing you. Okay. They know that they have to earn back your trust. They know the things that they said to you. They know their actions of what they did to you. They know this. So what I would recommend is in tarot terms, stay in temperance mode. Just stay balanced. Don't put yourself into a self-sabotaging position because this person's coming in very genuinely. It's you who may end up feeling like, you know, doubtful. Show me the three of wands. Yeah, king of cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. For some of you guys, this person is in their emotions if they're at a distance from you, they're in their emotions about that. Yeah, they're going to be coming forward, Ace of Swords, with their truth. I say it's because they want you. That's why. Yeah, they're coming to see you. Could be dealing with a Cancerian or a Leo throughout the month of July. That's our 8th, 10th, I think 10th major Arcana card. Message from the Chariot. We're going to wrap up this reading. Yeah, they know that you've been patient and they want to put in this energy to make investment. Investment in time and energy into the connection. Wheel of Fortune, Fate and Destiny, what goes around comes around this person could have gotten some karma your person's first or last name could start with the letter t the letter a the letter r or the letter o within their name now if this person is going to end up going the distance yeah cut in the middle of the deck there's that seven of cups you're going to feel overwhelmed scorpio when this person comes forward because it's going to be a shocker that's the reason why the tower card is there so if you like to book a personal reading and do it through the power of the numbers you can hit me up at blue scorpion gifts at gmail.com until next time, my beautiful Scorpios, take care.